Hey guys, it's Miss Miller. I just wanted to quickly show you how to use Logger Pro on your laptops. And we're going to be graphing our mass and volume lab today. And you're going to be putting two lines on your graph. So make sure you watch these instructions and follow along so that you can get a graph. Um, first of all, you're going to find Logger Pro. You're going to go here to your search bar and type in Logger Pro and then it should open um, as an app and you will see the screen. So hopefully you can get here first. Now today we worked with a metal and a non-metal. So our first data set we will name the non-metal. So I want to type it in there as non-metal. That's our first data set. And then <clears throat> for our x-axis, now I'm double clicking here to open up these boxes. Our x-axis is volume in milliliters. Well, we don't need that yet. The name of the unit is volume. The short name is going to be V. That's what we will use for volume. And our units are milliliters. So let's fill in that column. And then our Y column is going to be mass. And the short name for that is M. And our units are grams. So I'm just going to put a little g there for grams. So now you'll notice that we have mass on the Y axis and volume on the X axis, which is what we want. So. Um, from here, you'll enter your data. So I want to put in some bogus data. This is just some random numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's say the masses are same thing. Three. Okay, so now I have my volume and mass completed. Now we need to do the same thing for the metal. So we're going to go up here to data and we're going to make a new data set. The name of this data is going to be our metal. So you're going to double click it. And you'll see we already have volume and mass labeled here. So now I'm going to do um, more bogus data. Um, let's see. and you'll notice I'm just putting in the numbers. Now if you click enter it's going to take you to the right so I'm using the arrow keys to put in my data. So I'm going to type in 2, press the down arrow, and then 4. Remember your data is going to look a little different. So now we have all of our columns. We have the non-metal mass and volume and we have the metal mass and volume. So all of our data is nice and organized. And here is where you're going to get two lines on your graph. So I'm going to come over here to double click mass and we want more. So right now it's graphing the mass for our non-metal. So our non-metal is um, these open circles here. If I click this plus, now I can tell it to also graph the mass of the metal and I can say okay. Now I have two lines on the same graph and that's what we want to see. Now the very last thing you're going to do once you have all of your data graphed on the same graph you're going to come up here and if you hold your cursor over these buttons it tells you what's happening. We want to do a linear fit which is this key right here and we want to do a linear fit for our non-metal and our metal. So it's going to give us a box full of information. And these boxes should look familiar because these are the boxes you see on your test. Um, when you have a set of data on a graph, it gives you a box like this. So I'm giving you the slope and I'm giving the y-intercept for both of these. Now you are not graphing my data, you're graphing your data. So you will have different slopes and different y-intercepts, but this is how you're going to graph it. You're going to go to file and then print graph and you should be able to send it wherever you need to send it. Um, make sure you print enough for your whole group and I hope that this helps you uh, with your graphing and then we're going to whiteboard it. So get this in your lab notebook.